Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video I'm going to be taste testing the ghost pepper noodles. This time it is a cheese flavor, so let's get started. So here it is, the ghost pepper cheese flavor. This is a new flavor, dry black noodles. And here we can see flaming cheesy madness. This is halal certified. And over here you can see the Scoville heat unit for pepper, it's a million for the ghost pepper. The ultimate chewy Korean spicy noodles with cheesy cheddar goodness. I still feel this is gonna be very spicy. And here we have the nutritional information along with ingredients listed. And on the top you can see the instructions on how to cook it. So as you can see, it is the seal is broken. But I'm not returning this, I'm not complaining because I don't feel it's the seller's fault because everything else is sealed, as you can see. Let's open it and see what we have. This is so damaged. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's okay, we can still make it work. So in this, we get our usual goodies. We have the fork, which is just a click away and then you got your fork. This is our cheese powder. Oof, this smells cheesy and spicy. Is that even possible? The cheese powder is made from anti-caking agent silicon dioxide and contains milk. That's the only thing they have mentioned. Interesting. The next goodie we have is the ghost pepper chili sauce. Very spicy. There is a cut here, so you don't need scissors. Oh no, it's on my finger. Oof. Our seasoning sauce is made from water, sugar, spices, flavor enhancer, good old MSG, disodium 5 ribonucleotides, flavoring substances contain soybean and sesame, hydrolyzed vegetable protein contains soybean, salt, yeast extract, palm oleum, maltodextrin, glycine, Acidity regulator, citric acid stabilizers, guar gum, and sucralose. And that's the line where you have to put the water till. The noodles are made from wheat flour, contains gluten, palm oil, contains antioxidant, butylated hydroxy toluene, or BHT. Tapioca starch, potato starch, coca powder, salt, stabilizers, triphosphates, potassium carbonates, guar gum, fruit, and vegetable concentrate. Now that we have dissected our contents of the ghost pepper cheese flavor, let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. I have the water boiler right there. That's the ghost pepper cheese flavor noodles. We have an actual fork, the plastic fork, cheese powder, ghost pepper chili sauce, a black plate, finally got one, yay. And then a draining station to drain the water from here. Okay, let's start. Oops. So while the water is boiling, I got myself a plate because this is what we're gonna be using to cover that since it was so damaged. Now, this one is actually microwave safe. The last one wasn't. You can see over here, it has given us microwave instructions. So if you wanna do it that way, you can do it that way, but I'm gonna go this way. Now, the cheese powder and the chili sauce, I'm just going to add it to the plate over there because that's the seasoning that we're going to be adding after everything is being cooked. Ooh, ooh, I think the water is coming to a boil. Okay, let's pour the water till the ring. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There, that's it. And then we cover it. Set this aside for four to five minutes. Let's make our ghost pepper cheesy sauce. And here, let's mix our powder and sauce. Oof, this powder is so fine. Just, it's going everywhere. So the water you'll be draining from here, you actually have to keep two to three tablespoons of that water. It is mentioned in the instructions here. I have mixed some of this. Okay, time is up. Ew. Just detangling the noodles with a fork. Why am I speaking like this? Now for our draining station, since we don't have a lid. Just gonna dump all of this in. Mmm. 
The water has turned slightly brownish. And let's just mix this. Time to eat. Uh, lighting is all over the place. The first ghost pepper, the original flavor, it defeated me. I chose a wrong plate. Oh. So these noodles are definitely not for the faint of heart. I went in pretty confident that I can handle the spiciness. The moment these noodles touched my tongue, it gave me a burn that made my eyes pop out. <laughs> Ah, it's so hot. <laughs> so spicy. But the moment of last time's ghost pepper taste test conjured up in my mind, I knew I was in trouble all over again. My mouth feels like it's on fire, and I don't think it will be getting better anytime soon. Definitely consume at your own risk. On the first few bites, I didn't think these were going to be that hot. But the more I try to be brave and take a bite, the more my stomach protested. In no time, my stomach turned into the fiery pits of hell. My nostrils cleared, my lips were burning, and I felt that only milk will get rid of the burn. Uh, <laughs> I would not let this defeat me. It's so spicy. I can't finish this. Have these by all means, if you like to torture your insides. The flavor is intense, a strong spicy component and a sweet component. This time augmented with a cheese powder, which works eh. The cheese flavor is overpowered by all that spiciness. Otherwise, it's very good heat level for those who are into the whole spiciness. My body is numb. No amount of therapy can heal me for what I am putting myself through. I need help. That and lots of milk. Okay, okay, you win the ghost pepper cheese flavor, whatever. Was I able to finish the ghost pepper noodle cheese flavor? Nope, couldn't do it this time either. So if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Fiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.